my gosh. You startled me. Whew. Whew. Anyways, listen. Now that I got you here, I've been meaning to talk to you about something anyways. So, the French press. Last week I said we were going to talk about the French press, so that's what we're going to do this week. Listen, this thing has been gaining popularity. It's been pretty popular among uh, coffee drinkers for a long time, uh, and for good reason. French press is simple. Uh, it, the only bad thing about it, the only drawback about it, is it, the cleanup is not quite as uh, simple as just dumping your coffee grounds uh, into the trash can. But besides that, this thing is simple, it's easy to use, and it makes a wonderful, very strong cup of coffee. All right? Here's all you need. You need a French press itself. French press has got some type of carafe. It's got the plunger with your mesh in the bottom. You're going to need a cup, unless you want to drink it straight out of the French press, uh, and some type of heat source to heat your water. Now, your water, again, just like is in the pour over that we talked about last week, you want to bring your water to about 200 degrees, right? So bring it to a boil, and then let it sit for about 30 seconds. Your coffee grounds, now this is where grinding the coffee makes a difference. Your coffee grounds, you want them to be a little bit more coarse than what you would put in a regular coffee pot. Now here you can see that the grounds are a little bit more coarse than, uh, than you would use in a regular coffee pot. Now, if you don't have the ability to get your beans ground to, uh, to a specific coarseness like this, regular coffee from the store will work just fine. Or if you buy coffee uh, and you get it ground for a regular coffee pot and you decide you want to try this out, I would still give it a try uh, and then kind of play around with it. And the next time maybe, uh, you know, buy a bag just for your French press. Try it out, see how it goes. This thing here makes about two and a half cups of coffee. So you want to go with about two and a half rounded uh, tablespoons of coffee. From there, just fill it up with hot water. As you can see, I didn't fill it all the way up. You want to leave a little bit of room for your plunger. Take your spoon, your pocket knife, your keys, give it a little bit of stir, whatever you got in on you. Give it a bit of a stir. Get those grounds going in there. just set your plunger right on top. Now you're not going to push this plunger in just yet. Just set it on top just enough to where it sits just at the top of the water, okay? Now we're going to let this sit for about four minutes, right? So at this point you want to go, you want to start your timer, go brush your teeth, you know, start getting ready for work and then come back and then you, you'll have an amazing cup of coffee. Now, one reason this makes so much such a robust and flavorful cup of coffee is because because coffee has oils on the in the on the beans uh, within the coffee. This allows those oils to mix in uh, into your cup of coffee, and it doesn't get washed away or stuck in a filter or something like that. And so, as you this brings all the flavors out of that coffee that you can get. Play around with the grounds. If, you, if a two and a half scoops is too strong for you, dial it back a little bit. If two and a half scoops isn't strong enough, throw another half scoop or another scoop in there. But at the end of the day, just play around with it until you get the flavor that you're looking for. And you'll know, because each carafe is a different size. Uh, everybody's tastes are a little bit different. Some people like some coffee in the French press where other, or you may not like some coffees in there. Um, and then at the also, be cognizant of the grounds. Can you put regular coffee into a French press? Yes, you can. If you put regular coffee into the French press, you're gonna get a little bit of that silt at the bottom of it just because uh, at the end of the day, you have finer grounds that will um, come through that mesh. The difference is also, you may not get as robust of a um, flavor that you're looking for. Now, my suggestion is to leave it in just a few seconds longer, maybe about 30 seconds longer, over that four minute mark if you have regular coffee grounds. And that should give you pretty good flavor. Now, I'm gonna speed this up just for time's sake because I don't want these videos to go too long. Now, 
when you get ready to plunge your coffee, just plunge it slow. This thing has a mesh and a spring in there. If you plunge too fast, the coffee grounds can push up through that spring, and you don't want that. So you just want to slowly push this down. You'll see the grounds once they get to the bottom. You don't want to force it once it gets to the bottom. Just the way the hand takes it to the bottom. And now you have an amazing cup of coffee. Man, even though I didn't wait, that's still just as good as a plate of collard greens, my goodness. Mm. For anybody who's wondering, that's the Papua New Guinea that we've got in there. My goodness, that's good. I'm going to finish that off. So, just to recap what we did. It's simple. Uh, device to use to, for extracting coffee. Uh, you pour hot water over there, you stir it up, and then you push the plunger down after about four minutes. That's all it takes. Now, this if I waited around and I was saving this for myself, which my suggestion is you always want to share a cup of coffee with somebody else. That's just what life is about. Spending time with loved ones and friends. But the longer this stays in here, it's going to continue to steep. So my suggestion is to go ahead and pour this into another cup, or uh, you're going to have a little bit stronger of a cup of coffee, which at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with a strong cup of coffee. I really appreciate you guys joining us on this uh, in our videos, checking us out. Uh, hopefully these uh, videos uh, are helpful. Please leave any comments down below. Uh, we, will, we do read those comments. We, uh, anything that you send us on any other social media platforms, we just want to make sure you guys are getting the best experience out of your coffee that you can, um, even if it's not mine. So we just want to make sure that you guys um, are informed and that you get out and try new things. At the end of the day, you know, all we really want to do is make sure everybody's happy with what they, uh, the coffee that they drink in the mornings. And then also make sure that you're sharing it with somebody you love, uh, whether that be friends or family. So leave us a comment in the below. Leave us a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep seeing some of these uh, videos and uh, hit that little link there at the bottom so that way you get updates whenever we post these things and we're going to try to keep these things going at least once a week um, but at the end of the day you know life gets in the way sometimes so we'll see how it goes uh thanks for joining us